Hello, flu people, Mr. Fitz here, and now we're talking about page eight. And let's look at the concepts that they're teaching us on this page. The quarter note, which each quarter note gets one count in four, four time. And the quarter rest, each quarter note gets one count in four, four time. And the term phrase, which is a phrase is a musical thought or a sentence, Phrases are usually four or eight measures long, okay? Now the phrase is important, but for right now, we're really not gonna worry too much about phrases. You'll hear me use the term as we go through our studies. And um, at that point, it'll be a little clearer, okay? So don't worry about phrase, but what you really wanna focus on for today is the quarter note and the quarter rest. Now you may have used these in your music class before, okay? And what we do is we tap our foot and we say, ta, 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 rest, 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 rest. And the rests are just silence, right? When you play these, you say ta for each one, just one syllable, and you tap your foot, okay? Now, notice that the quarter note has a solid head, which is different from the half note, which you had on the previous page, which is hollow. So the hollow half note is, as you can see, two counts. Those go ta, ta, and the half rest is two counts of rest, one, two, three, four. By the way, on these rests, you can also say one, two, three, four. As a matter of fact, it probably would be better for you to say that one, one for the first one, two for the second one, three for the third one, four for the fourth one in each measure. Okay, now the next thing we need to know is what notes we're going to play. As you know, right now we know the notes D, C, and B flat. So looking at the first four notes of number 15, hopefully you can tell those are on the fourth line that those are da -da 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 -da, those are D's. Then we got four rests. Then these are in the third space. Notice that they're lower than the D. And hopefully you know what those are. You can always look back. You can pause the video and look back to page six. And the answer is da -da 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 -da, C. That's right. Okay. These guys are in the third line. And they also have a little flat symbol in front of them. That's, that little symbol means flat. It doesn't mean B. All right. Third line is da -da 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 B, so therefore these are B flats. And they only have to give you the flat once. It's good for the rest of the measure, so these other three Bs are still B flats because of that flat sign there. Four more rests, and then hopefully you know what these are. And if you said C, you're correct. And finally, they give us a whole note, our old pal, the whole note, which, as you may remember, is four counts of sound. Now, here's the strategy for learning this. First step is to say the rhythms, okay? So say it along with me and tap your feet. One, two, ready, begin. Ta, 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 one, two, three, four. Ta, 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 one, two, three, four. Ta, 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 one, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, and that's important to be able to say it. If you can say it with your voice, then you can play it on your instrument. Now, uh, I'm gonna turn this around, and hopefully I'm gonna be in the picture, because I can't see, because the screen's on the other side of the phone. All right, now I'm gonna grab my trusty flute. So now that I've said line 15, the next step is to play it on just one note. Doesn't matter what note you play. As a matter of fact, doesn't matter what you do your fingers with your fingers, if it's any note at all. But I'm going to say for right now, I'm going to play it on a B flat, okay? Because I happen to like the sound of a B flat, all right? And now I'm going to play line 15 as if they're all B flats. Now I know they're, sorry about that noise. I know they're not all B flats, but I'm going to pretend that they are for purposes of this. All right, here I go. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Now you want to practice that, it's keeping your foot tapping, keep a steady beat, kind of just work on that. All right. Now, once you've done that, the next step is then to say those notes and to to put your fingers on it like the evil finger practice. So here I go with that. D, 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 one, two, three, four. C, 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 one, two, three, four. B flat, B flat, 
B flat, B flat, one, two, three, four. C, 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 B flat. All right, and so you want to practice that. You want to make sure you can make the finger switch. I hope you hope you noticed that I wasn't staring at my fingers, but if you need to stare at your fingers, you know, by all means, go ahead. It's best if you can do it by feel, because when your flute's over here, you don't want to be putting your flute down and going like this and then switching the fingers, all right? And then finally, once you can do that, then you try to put it together. So here I go. One, two, three, four. Hopefully that worked for you and uh, practice that and you should have fun with line number 15. Alrighty.